Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of how to use the B-Rail tool and I forgot something to uh, add to it which is very important for uh, most of you and I will just uh, do it quick so you will understand what I'm trying to say here so remember the first part we created a curve so let's just for quick demonstration we will create a curve using the side view of course um, so let's say this will be our main curve like the rail curve okay and as I told you um, earlier uh, you can duplicate it and use this for the upper part of the mesh you wanna eventually create but what if um, you don't want to use the same uh, curve as the upper part so let's create another one and this one will be something more of like this one okay and click um, enter so the first thing which this is uh, tutorial is this tutorial part is all about is if you right click choose control vertices on it okay or open the attribute editor for this line okay let's let's press f8 to bring it back to object mode you can see that there uh, there are 10 spans on this uh, curve and this one if I will uh, click on it we have uh, select it sorry uh, we have nine okay so uh, in many um, you know uh, scenarios you probably will have uh, different uh, amount of vertices the spans are actually pointing to vertices you have on this curve so just to clarify it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we have twelve but without those two I think uh, one two okay just one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay something is pretty much weird on this one uh, let's see what I'm missing Twelve vertices one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay that means that um, this one has nine spans uh, ten spans but uh, Maya adding two more uh, one at the end of it and two more okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and this one will have twelve if it's correct let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right so Maya adding two span, uh, three spans for each curve you create, uh, and whenever you want to, uh, you know, <laughs> it's been a little bit weird, but whatever. Uh, whenever you want to, uh, you know, to bridge them that using that way the B rail tool, and you create the another curve. So let's create it. Create CV curve tool, and hold on the C to snap it and click and drag on the curve snap it here switch to the front view and we want to create this curve that way and then hold down the C here click and drag snap it here and press enter so now we have different amount of vertices on this one and this one and in this one so basically when you want to create a you know a good topology for something you need to consider these uh, things so uh, to take them in mind you know so in order to um, uh, fix this issue so whenever we uh, eventually use the B-Rail tool we want those two which are the rails one to have the same amount of uh, vertices so this is why we have this rebuild curve tool which I already presented in one of my tutorials but let's do it again you can uh, approach it over edit curve rebuild curve and click this cube here okay and then you just need to uh, type in how much uh, spans you want to have on this curve so this one we want to have 14 
okay so rebuild now in this one we want to have the same amount by the way you can check it now that I'm selecting it it says 14 here okay this one is 99 okay so we can go over edit curve rebuild curve click on this and type in the same amount and rebuild it now for this one you also want to make sure how much how many sp spans you want to have on it so you can also edit this one rebuild curve click on this and type in something like 9 okay rebuild and now it has 9 spans just to see if it's right okay see and this one has 13 as I recall okay so now it has more 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 okay so you see this is how you uh, maintain a good topology for it so whenever you basically go over um, you know surfaces surfaces B-Rail B-Rail 1 choose this one and this one it will create a good quad topology on your um, NURB surface, okay? And from here, you basically do the same. You convert it to polygon and with quads, okay? So um, that's pretty much uh, what this is uh, part is all about. And yeah, we also had to, um, you know, rebuild surface or something. No don't rebuild surface, this is what it will do we just want to reverse surface direction and something like that and then go over modify and sorry yeah modify convert NURBS to polygon click on this make sure quads and count is uh, being selected count for 100 and let's see just what will happen if we would do 200 and tessellate it that way Okay, so now we have those two, and we can get rid of the subs one. So Control H to hide it. Take the polygon one, hold down the shift, right click, choose mirror polygon, minus X. No, that's plus X. Mirror plus X. See, then you get this, and that's pretty much it as I can say okay and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful make sure to uh, follow those rules it will help you and I haven't tried um, to do this with different amount of spans but let's just try this okay let's change the amount of spans on this one um, edit curve rebuild by the way, you can do this by holding the space, go over uh, edit curve here, where is it? Mm, edit curve, you click on this one, hold down the space and then you will see this menu and click edit curve, rebuild curve, click on this one, type in whatever you want, let's say 9, rebuild, and then let's try this all over again just to see what will be the... Uh, result okay so you see uh, it gets a little bit different but I guess it's already creating whatever uh, has been needed to you know make maintain those uh, uh, those uh, quads so um, it's kind of strange but as long as it does the work so I have nothing more to say but uh, basically you get the idea right and that's it so have a nice day and bye